Content creation is hard already. Trying to figure everything out yourself will make it more frustrating. But ever since AI has come into play, everything has become way more easier. Now this will shock you that, that this background right here and everything you are seeing right here is actually fake. And all this was possible following just three simple steps. And this tool can be accessible using your mobile phone or your laptop. But before then, there are a few things you have to put in place before this can be achievable. You don't need an expensive camera to shoot this video, your mobile phone will do just fine. I'm currently filming this with my mobile phone and it's doing very great. Next thing you have to put in place is that you need good lightning. Now if you can't afford any of this lightning, you can use your natural light by sitting in front of your window. That's the best light. You also need a stable shot for stability. You might need a tripod stand or anything that will stable your phone. With all this said, let's jump right into the video. So the first thing you want to do is to come over to your browser and you are going to type in, in leonando.ai right you are going to be clicking on the first one right here and the first thing you are going to do is to create an account with them if you have an account already then just go ahead and log in your account but if you don't have an account just go ahead and create an account with them so click on create account and it's going to load up and it's going to show you three different options you can use to create an account with them so you're going to click on google put in your gmail address or microsoft or apple whichever way is preferable to you so once you create your account you are going to be landing in this very interface right so this is the interface of leonardo.ai once you register an account so the first thing you want to do is to go over to image generation now by default you already have over 150 credit as you sign up as you can see and this 150 credit is restored every single day and you just need around eight credit to generate images so what you are going to do is very simple you come over to this very place you click on image generation so once you click on image generation it's going to ask you to impute your prompt now this is what we are going to ask leonardo to design for us we are going to tell him to design a beautiful looking background with an rgb light and with a book setup shelf so we are going to go ahead and just click on generate right here and as you can see you just need eight credit or eight token to generate these very images now before you generate any images it's very important that you check the custom size right you want to make sure the custom size is of a youtube standard to change the dimension of these images just come to this very settings that i can write here and by default you can generate four images at a time so we are going to scroll down we are going to click on this very place right here to change the dimension of your image so once you click on it by default your image ratio is going to be around four 0.3 or 2.3 so you want to make sure it's on 16 by 9 so that it will give you that youtube standard ratio so once you are done with that you click on this very icon right here to take you back so once you have input your prompt the next thing to click on is to generate right here and you are going to wait for leonardo to perform the magic for us so in few seconds your images is going to be generated and you are going to be having access to your background images so guys these are the images right now so if you are not happy with this result you can go ahead and regenerate this again or you can change your prompt and type in something else or you can change some words in it to give you a different result so i will go ahead right now and go ahead and check the one i like and i'm going to download them on my mobile phone to download this image is very simple click on the download icon right here or whichever device you are using to download these very images so the next step is to come to your Canva app to perfect your design now Canva is a free popular tool you can use to design and edit your graphics right is free and it's free to use so once you come to cover the first thing you want to do is to come to the search bar and you are going to type in youtube right and it's going to bring in diverse option so the one you are going to choose is youtube thumbnail because we want to use a youtube standard size we just click on youtube thumbnail and it's going to give us that standard ratio so we are going to click on this blank space right now then it's going to load up for us so the next thing you are going to do right now is you want to bring in the background you want to edit now we're going to click on the surface right now click on replace we come to images and we are going to select from the images we just downloaded i'm going to just click on one of these images right here and it's going to appear here so we can make any changes if you want to make any changes right here we can edit something we can add something we can remove whatever we want to remove or we want to cover anything right here so we can just come to this plus button we can search for whatever thing we want to put in there let's imagine we want to put in a youtube play button or a youtube icon we click on this search icon right here we just put in our test then put in a youtube play button or youtube icon and it's going to bring in diverse option and we want to choose which one that suits our preference let's use this one right here 
this is very popular and is very familiar so we just click on it we want to zoom in so that we want it to be very perfect so that it won't be noticed so we want to put it somewhere here on the table right or we can choose to put it at this very top corner right here it's okay this way then we want to put it somewhere like here right or you can just duplicate it and put it here right right it can be somewhere like here or we can just remove this one we we'll leave that one at the top right corner so i believe this is perfect so if you want to make any changes you can make any changes right here and just make it to suit your taste so the next thing you want to do is to click on this download icon at the top right corner of your phone right you click on download and you want to leave it on png that's the best that you want to just go ahead and click on download and it's going to be downloaded into your folder so the next thing we are going to be doing now is to combine this together with a free editing tool app called CapCut. So we are already in CapCut. So we want to bring in our background right here at the foreground. So once you click on add, it's going to add our background to the media pool. So we already have our background right here. You want to remove this end screen right here. Just click on remove, All right? So you want to extend this background to this very place. So the next thing you want to do is to bring in your video. And you want to bring that video as an overlay right you click on overlay you click on the plus button and you want to bring in your video right as the add the overlay so once the video come in it's going to come as an overlay so the next thing you want to do is you want to make sure the background is equal to the video as you can see the length of the video is higher than the background so we click on the background we stretch it down to the video standard so guys so once you are done here so what you are going to do next is that you are going to click on your video right here click on it we're going to scroll over to cut out so once you come to cut out you want to make use of the remove background click on remove background and it's going to load up and the background of your image is going to be removed this might take a few seconds or few minutes depending on the length of your video so you want to make sure you go through the video and you see that everything is on check right and my advice is that you want to shoot your video on a play background so that there won't be any issues on the background so what i want to do next is that i want to size this to fit in the background so what i'm going to do next is that i'm going to put in an effect on the background so that my video can stand out i'm going to come back to effect i'm going to go to a video effect and i'm going to search for blow blow effect so we are going to make use of this very first one right here which is this very one right so as you can see right now this is the blow effect and this just blow out all the background we want to make sure we reduce the opacity of this very effect so that it won't be much so we're going to reduce it a little bit so that it can give it a little depth of feed just make sure you are playing with it and you make sure you know what you're doing so i believe this one is okay i'm just going to stretch it out to fit in the video so what we are going to do next this is not a must you can choose to do this or not we want to add some filter to it so that we can add some blending in the image and video you can go to your filter and you can just go ahead and play with your filter and you can use any filter that suits your taste so right here this filter right here is to ash we are going to look for something that is going to look very good on it you can use more than one filter whichever one that best suits your preference so i believe this one is kind of okay i'm just going to use reduce it a little bit and i'm going to click on okay so right here right now we already have our video and we already have everything in place so the next thing you want to do is to just go ahead and export your video click on export and you want to make sure it's on 1080p mm -hmm. the frame rate is 30 then you click on export and your video is going to be exported figure everything out yourself will make it more frustrating but ever since ai has come into play everything has become way more easier now this will shock you that that this background right here and everything you are seeing right here is actually fake and all this was possible following just three sim so guys now that you have learned how to change your background into a more professional look without using any expensive gears or equipment i will encourage you right now to like this video as a sign of encouraging me to create more of this content and if you have not subscribed and joined the family please do it to subscribe right now and join this amazing community so don't forget to like this video thank you in advance now with that said if you have any questions for me if you have any review make sure you drop them in the comment section i'll be there to reply to all your messages now with that said i'll see you around so guys thank you so much for watching i believe you got value if you got value please make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to the community for more amazing videos
like this i'll be linking all the tools down in the description and you can also join my telegram community by clicking on the first link in the description of this video now with all this said you want to click this video right now showing right here 